welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials in this video i am talking about the how to construct a phase diagram for binary eutectic system or you can say study about the binary eutectic system binary means if two metals are added with each other so in that case if it will be in the phase of liquid so that will be having a hundred percent solubility but in the case of solid that will be act as a insoluble solid materials so in case of binary eutectic system liquid phase it will be converting into two different solids at particular eutectic temperature and particular eutectic compositions so how the construction of the phase diagram will take place so let us start with the cooling curve for the binary eutectic system so in the cooling curve x axis it will be representing time y axis it will be representing as a temperature so at higher temperatures both the metals in the case of binary which will be in the phase of liquid so at point number a which will be the higher than the melting point of the both the metals so after that it will be cooled down with respect to the time so up to the eutectic temperature line so it will be the starting point of the solidification because in simple way eutectic system means at constant temperature solidification process so both the metals it will be in the form of liquid it will be converting into two different solids so at eutectic temperature or you can say at the point number b that will be the starting point of the solidification in case of binary eutectic system so at constant temperature from b to c that will be 100% liquid it will be converting into 100% solid so in between a to b that will be having a 100% liquid phase from region b to c that liquid it will be start to converting into two different solid so liquid plus solid 1 plus solid 2 so c point is representing as a end point of the solidification process so after c to the room temperature it forms two solids so from the solidification process in the case of binary eutectic system liquid phase it will be converting into two different solid at the eutectic temperature that means you can say at eutectic temperature te and eutectic composition ce your liquid phase it will be converting into two different solids so let's see with the reactions liquid phase by the cooling at eutectic temperature it will be converting into alpha or you can say solid 1 plus beta or you can say solid 2 and by the heating at eutectic composition once again it will be converting into liquid phase so in simple way of i would like to say that in the case of binary eutectic system that will be called as a constant temperature solidification process and that temperature that will be eutectic temperature or in simple way at eutectic temperature liquid phase it will be converting into two different solids now let's see the construction of the phase diagram in case of binary eutectic system so required condition for the binary eutectic system so the melting point today we will discussing with the cadmium and bismuth which will be having a such kind of behaviors so that in the face of liquid which will be having a hundred percent solubility but in case of the solid phase both are act as a insoluble solid solutions so cadmium having a 321 degree centigrade bismuth having a 271 degree centigrade melting points and eutectic temperature in cadmium bismuth binary system 144 degree centigrade and eutectic composition that will be 40 percent of cadmium and 60 percent of bismuth so let us start the construction x-axis that will be the weight percentage of composition y-axis temperature in degree centigrade cadmium and bismuth having a different kind of percentage of compositions 
सो हंड्रेड जीरो सेवेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव फिफ्टी परसेंट फिफ्टी परसेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड जीरो परसेंट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड द टेम्परेचर रेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द मेटल्स हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर हंड्रेड बोथ द साइड टेम्परेचर नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट टू टेक अ कैडमियम साइड एंड द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इज अराउंड थ्री ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो हंड्रेड परसेंट कैडमियम और यू कैन से द प्योर कैडमियम दैट विल बी एक्ट एज अ प्योर मेटल सो ड्रो द कूलिंग खाओ फॉर द प्योर मेटल फॉर द पॉइंट सी डी विच विल बी एविंग हंड्रेड परसेंट कैडमियम सो इनिशियली लिक्विड फ्लेस लिक्विड प्लस सॉलिड एंड सॉलिड फ्रॉम अनदर एंड फ्रॉम बिस्मथ which will be having a 271 melting points so once again draw the cooling curve for pure bismuth materials so liquid liquid plus solid and solid now taking the eutectic condition points so eutectic means i already told you that will be the constant temperature solidification process so eutectic temperature take 144 degree centigrade and the composition that will be 40 percentage of cadmium so that will be intersecting point and it will be said to be a eutectic point so draw the cooling curve for the binary eutectic system so liquid converts into two different solids at constant temperature so initially liquid then liquid plus solid 1 plus solid 2 which will be converting into solid 1 plus solid 2 now i am interested to draw two more cooling curves for the before the eutectic point and that will be the percentage of around 75 percentage of cadmium and 25 percentage of bismuth so at initially that forms liquid then it will be converting into liquid plus solid then at eutectic temperature once again that will be the constant temperature solidification process it will be converting into two different solids so that will be the cooling curve for the off binary eutectic system now i am taking about point which will be after the eutectic point and around 25 percentage of cadmium and 75 percentage of bismuth so similar at initially that will be having a liquid phase and it will be start to converting into solid so liquid plus one of the solid and generally that will be by the enrichment of the materials and once again it will be touch the eutectic temperature that will be the constant temperature solidification process then it will be converting into two different solids so just you can see the green line which will be passing through the different starting point of the solidifications so in case of 75 percentage cadmium and 25 percent bismuth once it will be converting into liquid into one of the solid so solid over here it will be called as a alpha because alpha is a solid phase of cadmium and another end beta phase that will be the solid phase of bismuth so in the region that will be forms liquid plus one of the solid and then after liquid plus solid 1 plus solid 2 and that will be your constant temperature solidification process at the eutectic temperature and your purple line you can see that will be the line of the solidus so after that or below portion of that particular purple line which will be indicating 100% two different solids So now taking the case number one for the eutectic system, or you can say phase transformation, which will be passing through the eutectic point. So in simple way, liquid converts into two different solids. So let's see the microstructure diagram. At the temperature around more than two hundred degree centigrade, which will be having one hundred percent liquid phase, and the composition is forty percentage of cadmium. So there is no any kind of solid form in the case of more than two hundred degree centigrade for the eutectic composition. 
at the room temperature that liquid phase of the 40 percentage of cadmium and 60 percentage of bismuth that will be converting into two different solid. So, you can see that will be forms alpha and beta in the microstructure alpha representing cadmium and beta representing as a bismuth. So, liquid phase it will be converting into two different solids. Now, taking a case number 2 or you can say before the eutectic point and it will be said as a hypo eutectic system. So, just you can take any compositions which will be before the eutectic point it will be called as a hypo eutectic system. So, right now I am taking the point around 75 percentage of cadmium and 25 percentage of bismuth. So, around 300 degree centigrade this composition it will be in the form of liquid. Just you can see for the second in between process or you can say off eutectic system. So, that liquid phase of the 75 percent cadmium and 25 percent bismuth it will be start to converting into solid. So, liquid plus alpha, alpha is responsible for cadmium because alpha phase it will be made by the cadmium materials. Once again it will be taught the eutectic system and after that it forms the two different solid. So, alpha plus beta. Now, I want to apply the lever arm rule which will be help to find the weight percentage of alpha and weight percentage of liquid which will be present at the same compositions of 75 percentage of cadmium. So, at this composition and 210 degree centigrade draw the one horizontal line and one vertical line from the composition line. So, that line it will be intersecting solidus line composition line and liquidus line and it will be said as a tie line. So, tie line just you can see one point which will be intersecting at solidus line that will be representing as a P at composition line that will be Q and liquidus line it will be representing as a R. So, just you can take the projections from each and every point. So, R that will be 35 percentage of bismuth, Q it will be already indicating 25 percentage of bismuth and P itself as a 0 percent bismuth. So, applying the lever arm rule, suppose I want to find weight percentage of alpha or you can say solid. So, you can take the side of the intersecting of the liquidus line. So, Q R divided by total length and it will be equal to P R into 100. Just put the value of Q R and P R. So, Q R means 35 percent bismuth minus 25 percent into 100 and divided by 35 minus 0. So, weight percentage of alpha that will be 28.57 percentage of alpha and suppose weight percentage of the liquid, so 100 minus this 71.43 percent liquid. So, at that point of 210 degree centigrade and 75 percentage of cadmium and 25 percent of bismuth which will be having a solid phase and that will be equal to 28.75 percentage. Once again the second reaction I am taking after the eutectic point and it will be said as a case number 3 hyper eutectic system. So, just you can take the similar kind of microstructure but in the case of solidification process that liquid it will be converting into beta phase initially and after the room temperature it will be makes alpha plus beta. Similar, just I am taking the temperature just above the eutectic temperature and a similar kind of composition 25 percentage of cadmium and 75 percentage of bismuth. So, at uh, liquidus line it will be intersecting and make the x point, y point at the composition line and z point at the 
solidus line. So once again applying the lever arm rule just put the value of weight percentage of beta that will be equal to xy divided by xz into 100 just put the value of xy range and yz range so finally you get weight percentage of beta that will be equal to 16.67 percentage and 83.33 percentage of liquid So that is all about the binary eutectic system. If you like it, then subscribe, like and share. Mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials.